Hey everyone, welcome back to another VW Rust Bits video. So it's just going to be uh, the shortest one today. We're in the T5 um, and we've been doing a bit of clean up in the dash area. So I'll spin the camera around and show you that in a moment. Uh, but what we're going to tackle today is the um, gear lever gator. It's very threadbare, worn out. Um, so we're going to take it off and just make up a new one. We've got some grey vinyl laying around the place. So, um, yeah, we're going to take this one off, use it as a pattern, and make up a new one with uh, the vinyl that we've got here. So I think we might have some black, might have some grey. We'll see what we've got in. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the gear, uh, the gear lever gator off. So we're going to show you how we do that. Um, just a quick one, when you watch this video back, on my camera for some reason, when I do the screens that faces me, and looks, it reverses everything, sort of 180 degrees. So it look like I'm in a left-hand drive van. I'm not. I'm in a right-hand drive UK van. When I switch to my other camera in a minute, on the other side of the phone, it goes all to normal. So bear with me. We'll flip the camera around. I'll show you what we're going to be doing and what I've done to the dash today. So we've had a bit of a tidy up today, haven't we, Ben? Yeah. So we'll do that. I'll flip the camera around in a minute. Okay. So you can see today we've been cleaning our dash so you noticed uh, a month or so ago we actually just cleaned the dash for the first time well today we've actually used a sort of a wax product a colored wax on the dashboard and it's come up really really well i'm super pleased with how it's all turned up um so yeah really chuffed it's really darkened it down it's brought the color back to life and we've carried on, so we've cleaned up all the A-pillar trims. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? So we'll pop the light on a minute. So it's cleaned up all the um, A-pillar trims there. And same on that side. The headliner we're going to replace and the sun visors because they were proper grotty. There's phone numbers written on them and all sorts. Um, as well as the B-pillar trims and the seat belt and everything else. So, yeah, and the dash. Probably going to try and replace the steering wheel with maybe a three-spoke. We'll see how we go. But the dash has come up really well. So, we're yeah, really pleased with that. So, today's project is this minging old thing. So, we're going to make a new one of those up. So, first thing we need to do is just to get the uh, gear lever gator away. Um, and you can do that just by pulling away at the bottom. So, there's a couple of tab fixings on the plastic ring that that's stapled to let's see if i can do it one-handed as i speak on the phone ah there we go right thanks ben so yeah, there's a few locating tabs you can see around the outside edge here and here and here so you just need to pull it free start on one side as i did then and then if i just bring the gear lever over to myself here a bit Right, so to get the gear lever off, we just need to take off this top part here. So, um, again, it's going to be a bit tricky one-handed, but just want to get in there without trying to damage uh, everything else. Yeah, right, hang on, Ben, watch your hand, mate. If you hold the camera there for Dad. Got it? Well done. Ben, my assistant, is going to help me. <laughs> So yeah, just need to um oh this one's stuck in there fast. Pull this away. Oh, there we go. That's um Oh. left all the glue behind that's supposed to stay on top of the knob never mind uh, we're going to get a replacement top for that anyway so if you look on top of that bend for me can you see the screw there we go so i think that's a t27 yep t27 we're just going to undo that That's it, mate. Well done. Good filming, buddy. <laughs> like so. 
and that comes off. So it just lifts away. Screws to the inside. Just pop that up there for a moment. And then all this lifts up as one. Okay, so we'll take that into the house. We'll strip it down, use it as a pattern. It's got to pull all these staples out all the way around. And then we'll take all the different sections apart, the triangulated sections, cut some new fabric, stitch it up. Then I'll come back out, show you the result, and fit a new one on there. So we'll catch you in a minute. Right, so we've just come in the house to see about stripping this down. So what we've got to do is take all the staples out from around the plastic edge here. So I'll pass you back the phone to my assistant. Well done, Ben. You got it? So down here. So all we need to do is just get like a flat blade screwdriver up underneath these staples. Mind your fingers. Yeah, minding your fingers. And we're just going to work them out. Just like that. Put them to one side. And just take your time. So we don't have you breaking the uh, plastic ring. So you want to use that. So I'm going to carry on doing this all the way around. So once I've taken these staples out, then we'll come back to the video and we'll see about stripping the rest of it down. We're filming on this. We're not in the dark. Is it dark? No. It is. Come and film around the side. There you go. Watch, just watch your fingers in that top corner. Why? Because it goes onto the camera. Is it? Ready? I've already press filmed that. Oh, okay. Well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit more light here, that's all. Um, so, right, I've taken all the staples out all the way around. So if you just reveal, pull the leather back. And you've just got this ring on the inside. And what we want to do is just to remove the ring. Just like that. Did you get that, Ben? Yeah. Yeah. That then leaves us with this top section here. And this bottom section here, which we just need to remove to be able to pull, because this is tucked up inside. So to be able to get this out, we need to separate this two parts. So let me work out how I separate these two bits. And then we'll come back to you. Dark. Okay, so playing around with it, this ring oh. here, uh, we're sitting down against this shoulder. So I've just got a screwdriver up underneath it, prise this ring up. And then this collar here. Oh, ben. <laughs> got a collar here, which we'll just pull around like so. You're not What's that? Like that oh, collar. That's all right. You got me? And then that reveals this part of the gear lever. So just take the ring off as well. And then by the looks of it, we'll just pull it the other way, maybe? Up over there. So turn it back the other way around. Pull it up. Can you still see? Yeah, pull it up and off, leaving that there. So we'll put that to one side, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ring back around. Just so it lines up. As it should do, there's a little tab here that it goes over. See that little tab? And we'll just pop the ring loosely over just so we know which order it goes into. So I'm going to put that to one side and the ring to one side and the staples. And this is actually the vinyl that we're going to use to make a new gear lever. So we just flip it over. There we go, move my cup of tea out of the way. So we've got for a nice grey vinyl. Just step back a little bit better, there we go. A nice grey vinyl. So, um, which will complement the dashboard. We have got some black as well, but I think we're going to go for the grey. So, all we've got to do now is to actually take this apart. And it's only in two pieces, so two triangles. So, we just need to undo the stitch in here and along here. We'll lay it out flat, lay it down on the new fabric, and set it as a pattern. So, we'll just go ahead and take this one apart just by undoing the stitching. So, we're just going to literally Pick at it with a little pick tool to get the stitching apart. Okay, you don't need to see that. So we're going to do that and come back. 
Okay, so we've cut the uh, material down through the seams. Again, all we've done is where they were stitched together, just run a standing blade down through the stitching itself, not the fabric, down through the stitching. And then we're just gonna need to lay it out onto the vinyl. Um, remember to pull down the little tongues that fold up inside the ring. And then we need to draw around and cut them out. So if we join it that way up or flip it over? I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, the wife's thinking. I'm not being sexist, but the wife's doing this bit, but she is a, uh, an upholsterer. <laughs> it's not that I'm just getting my missus to sew it because I don't know how to work a sewing machine. So that's it. So if we do it that way up, we just pull the little tabs out. Okay. And then um, we can mark that round on the fabric, just like so, all the way around. We'll just leave maybe a few millimetres extra all the way around the outside so we can stitch it together on the inside We'll show you that bit when we get to it. So we'll get these marked out and get them cut out. Yeah, so just so you can see, we're just holding it down flat against the fabric. So the new fabric's facing up the same way as the old one to make the pattern. And Joe's just drawing around it. It's hard to see, we're in a bit of a dark room here. Um, there we go. Sorry, it's a bit right in the way as well. Yeah, it's hard to catch. So yeah, so we just draw around that way and do the other one as well. And then we'll cut those two out, ready to stitch the two together. Okay. So you can see the patterns angled down, back down okay. the same minute. That's it, you can see the patterns there. It's like a couple of mittens down on the uh, table. So it's going to cut around the lines. I'll say along the sides here, we've probably done about an extra three or four mil because that's where I'm going to be stitching down these seams here um, when they're sort of face to face. So we're just going to cut them out down through the lines there now. Just going to try and be as accurate as you can so you'll get a, a nicer finish on the end item. So Joe's going to carry on cutting them out. I say when they're all cut out, we'll come back and show you what we're going to do next. Right, so that's the two panels cut out. As you can see, they sort of go on top of each other. And then when they're lined up, so they go face to face. I'm trying to do it with one hand. And basically all we're going to end up doing is running these two ends through the machine. So down through there and down through there. <laughs> So we'll get that stitched up and then we'll see about assembling it all back together again. Right, so we're going to stitch these two pieces up. The only difference between this and the original one, uh, the original one um, had like, like a French seam down through it, so a bit fancier. Uh, but we're just looking to um, make a new one and tidy the whole thing up. So you'll see when we turn it the other way. So ours is just going to be a single, a single stitch. Works exactly the same way though. So just take your time stitching up. Say so anybody with a sewing machine at home can do this. Don't need to be a professional. This is just our home sewing machine, not the upholstery machine. Um, oh, that's what I'm calling to action a with the scissors. <laughs> Left-handed. There we go. That's one side. And then we've just got to do the uh, other side. There we go. That's, the, that's too dark there, honey. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There you go. So that's one side stitched together. Like I say, the reason one had a uh, French seam, so a seam a stitch either side of that. Um, mm. Well, she said we can do it, but we're not going to bother doing that. So, uh, cool, let's do the other side then. I can only show you the machine because Joe doesn't like being on camera. Oh, don't you agree? Don't do so, it. Yeah, that, <laughs> it. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just going to do this one. 
There we go. Simple as that. Let's pop it on the table here, it's a bit lighter here. So, okay, that's the makings of the gear knob. So what we'll do now is we'll put it back over the uh, gear lever, put the clip and that back on, and then we'll see about attaching it back to the ring. Okay, so we'll just get our gear lever and the gator. So we'll leave it inside out. And all we're going to do is push that up through the middle. So push it up through. There we go. And pull it all the way down to the hilt. So it wants to sit right there. So it wants to sit just below uh, that mark there. Like that and then we want to get the ring let's say where this cutout is goes on this tab just here so we'll just spin that around so that's in the middle and we just want to try and flatten these back and we put this ring on just to allow it to sit a bit neater and on that side and on this side and the ring. We've then got to push this ring down. So I might need to use a bit of force. Get my screwdriver out. Yeah. So let me just get me a screwdriver on it. I just need to pinch this up to get that ring over like so. Just make sure it's locked in place. There's a little tab here that it needs to go into. See there? There's a little tongue there. It needs to go in that slot as well. I've just got to manhandle it over. Push it down. Probably not the easiest thing to film, honey, is it? Um, try and do it about stabbing yourself. Yeah, going to A and E. Do you need my help? It should be all right. There you go. Just work it round, it's starting to go. It's starting to go down on this side. There we go. So it's not the uh, easiest thing in the world to do, but it's just being careful not to. Put the screwdriver through beneath the fabric. So that's that back on. You see? Yep. Now if we just flip it around the other way again. And there we have it. All nicely tucked up underneath the shoulder of the gear knob. So next thing we want to do is to attach it to the ring. So the ring just goes around the inside. And then where the tabs are, the tabs stay exposed, like so. These little tongues just want to fold in around there uh, to be held in position. So that's a bit of a fiddly job. So uh, we need to get the glue out to be able to do that. So we'll start it off and then we'll come back and show you how we finish that bit off. Well, I should start off with... Um, this seam here, put a little bit of glue on, 
and then a little uh, sort of crocodile clip, bulldog clip to hold it in place. And we're just going to get the notches around these tabs. So we're just going to work our way around just with a spot of glue up on the underside here. Push the tab down, bulldog clip on, hold it in place. Just need to do that all the way around the circle and that will hold it all in place. Um, so again, it's a bit of a fiddly job and no one here to hold the camera. So we'll get that done and then we'll show that to you with it all in place. And there we have it. So we've ended up gluing it all the way around. So I've got some um, very high temperature trim fix glue that we use for all our upholstery work, carpet lining and what have you. And that's worked a treat on there. So we just glued it down to the plastic ring. All on the inside and outside. So that should work equally as well as the staples. So we've got to do now see about sitting it inside the van. So let's take it into the van and see how we get on. All right, so what I'm going to do, just while I've got access to it all, is give it a bit of a clean. And uh, try and get the worst of all the uh, gunk out from down inside here. Like so, because what I've got is some um, anti-friction dry PGFE lubricant. So we'll just give it a bit of a spray up in here. Just keep everything just on the balls. Oh, I found that funny. <laughs> Nicely as it should do. Okay. Maintenance out of the way. So gear knob is just slots back over again. Yeah, not in any uh, particular way. There's no sort of key or anything like that. So, So we want to line it up so it's that angle is that way up, like so. I just want to try and push the plastic trim in. Like so, just being careful, we don't want to rip just made there we have it so with that that just slots back over the top again push it down torque screw T27 Talks it up, and we just need to re fix, re glue the um, gear knob back on again. There we have it. So, one gear lever gator made, fitted in less than an hour, and that's with filming it all as well. What do you think, babe? Well done, darling. Do you like it? You're a very clever man. Well, you did it, you divvy. <laughs> So, yeah, really pleased with that. <laughs> Looks really good, doesn't it? Looks better than the rubbed up horrible one, yeah. doesn't it? Cool Warm beans. Away. Fantastic. Right, well, so we'll just glue that back on. You don't need to really see me gluing that bit. So that's it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, I hope you just enjoyed the little video we just made. Something short and simple that anybody can do at home. You have access to needle and thread or a sewing machine to speed the whole thing up doesn't take very long basic hand tools all you need is a t27 torx bit to get that bit off 
Um, so we'll probably replace this with something a bit fancier anyway. Mm. Um, but yeah, there we go. Just finishes it off really well. So thanks so much again for watching, everybody. I hope you're enjoying what we're putting out there. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love all my uh, comments. I'll get back to you. Uh, we've ordered a new piece of trim for the center dash here. So hopefully that'll be here in the next day or two. Um, so when I get that, I'll show you how we go about fitting all that in there as well. Um, yeah, but for now, thanks again, everybody. Take care. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like the channel, uh, hit the bell notification icon and spread the word. See you later, everybody. Bye.